I think all of Sri Lankans, like the 22 million, has been taught to, uh, to have this begging mentality. Everything needs to come. Disaster happens, uh, government has to come and serve us. You know, all because from the get-go, uh, in our education system, we've been taught that uh, if the white skin does it, that's the best. If we do it, you know, double check it, think about it, that kind of a mentality. Is that what do you think we need to start on, you know, resetting all this? And, uh, you know, right now even the schools are not functioning <laughs> you know, as per se, but, you know, isn't it the place? Yeah, uh, good uh, question, but, uh, you know, to be able to put that in context. Now, all of us are talking about recovering from the pandemic. To me, it's not about recovering from uh, the pandemic, right? An economic crisis has been looming over the past, you know, several years. From 1917 to 19, uh, sorry, uh, 2017 to 2019, the average uh, GDP growth was only 3.1%. Uh, 3 uh, and in 2011 and 12, country recorded 8% growth and 9% growth consecutively uh, post-war. Yeah. Uh, and then there were, you know, so many other, you know, economic uh, developments, you know, that took place, governments changing, all of that. And uh, with the public, uh, uh, you know, expenditure going up, having to, you know, get more and more loans and having to service them. And, and now, you know, being a middle-income country, uh, getting loans on commercial terms, uh, no donations anymore, no concession rates anymore. Um, and uh, as uh, Kastri quite rightly said, uh, import-dependent economy, and you know, if you look at uh, our expenditure, forty-five percent of our imports is for food, right? Consumption. Consumption, right? Uh, so that's that's where the disaster actually, you know, started. Uh, so it's it's not about uh, you know, trying uh, you know reaching um, the pre-pandemic uh, you know yeah, revenue yeah. levels. It's about you know going much beyond that. Uh, probably uh, you know talking about another. Uh, 10 billion to you know 20 billion uh, dollar you know kind of incremental revenue that we need in order to you know create uh, a sustainable uh, you know good economy within which the 20 million people can you know deserve uh, rather enjoy the life they deserve so it's about that so your question about education yes we're being educating our people but have we been giving uh, knowledge you know that has uh, commercial value I mean, we have had a you know big question mark there, uh, and as Rohan said, uh, I mean, they go to school. What do they learn? You know, to learn, they need to you know do tuition. So that is what has been going on, you know, for several decades. So they need to obviously uh, the government and policymakers, you know, need to obviously bring in reforms in order to give them uh, knowledge that has commercial value. And we've been also talking about politics, right? Uh, corruption and you know politicians being able to mislead the the voters and I think there is a need uh, now in the country to to educate uh, every single uh, voter or every single uh, you know individual a little bit about economy how economics work right when there is one government in, in power the, the opposition basically says, you know, we can do better and uh, they but, fall but for it. it doesn't hold, uh, you know, water on, or, or, it's like water And it has been, you know, going, you know, over and over again without real, you know, success being achieved.